Hello everyone. Today we will continue talking about the chain growth uh, polymerization or what we call it addition polymerization. In uh, specific, we will talk about the anionic and uh, the cationic polymerization. We talked before in the previous video about the first part of the chain growth polymerization, which was the free radical addition polymerization. And here we will cover the cationic and the anionic polymerization. You have to remember that uh, all those types of polymerization, either the chain growth polymerization or the condensation polymerization, are different types of the uh, chemical polymerization. There are also another types uh, of polymerization, physical polymerization that we will cover later on in this course. Now moving to the cationic uh, polymerization from the name you could see that it will involve the uh, uh, formation of carbon cations. This carbon cation can uh, be generated uh, from uh, Lewis uh, acids such as the PF3, uh, PF3 ALCl3 or S now, uh, example here the uh, polyisobutylene, uh, which uh, can be obtained uh, by the cationic polymerization. From the reactions here, you could see that the, in the initiation steps, which is similar exactly to the uh, free radical polymerization, and here we also gonna uh, uh, produce instead of a free radical, we will produce a proton either from the sulfuric acid or the uh, PF3. Now, this uh, proton uh, can be attacked by the isobutylene double bond, and the isobutylene, when it just attack the proton, uh, uh, the double bond would break, forming a new bond between the hydrogen and the uh, one of the carbons uh, of the double bond. The other carbon would carry a positive charge. Now we formed our carbon cation. What will happen next is the propagation step. This propagation step uh, in which another double bond, another monomer would just attack the carbon cation. The monomer which has uh, the double bond would attack the carbon cation. And uh, the living polymer will start just to grow. Now I have two uh, monomers together uh, attached as a carbon cation. Uh, this uh, this uh, propagation step will just uh, continue until uh, this is why we will call it similar to the, the free radical polymerization and living polymer. Now this living polymer will grow until certain point where a uh, termination step would occur. The termination uh, termination step usually uh, one of the monomer will take away one proton. And so instead here I have here uh, you could see here I have uh, this carbon cation. So what will happen is one of those double bonds instead of forming a bond between uh, the uh, carbon cation and uh, this uh, double bond of the monomer, it will take away one of those hydrogen. Once it take away this uh, hydrogen, uh, double bond would just uh, form between these two carbons. And here you could see that this double bond would form and now I don't have this growing polymer anymore I have unsaturated uh, polymer and uh, um, sometimes uh, of course you will have this uh, uh, carbon cation in here um, it accepted the uh, proton, so in this double bond accepted a proton, so it became here CH3, and here I have a carbon cation, but the growing of this part will not uh, continue. So, uh, but the growing of the longer chain, which is my main uh, polymer, will just stop in the termination step by the attacking of one of the double bonds to one of the side chains of my growing polymer, creating a um, unsaturated side chain of my growing polymer which will stop my polymer from growing further. Now moving to anion polymerization, it is sim uh, similar to carbon cation uh, ionization or the free radical ionization. It will start by the initiation step. The initiation step in here I have retail lithium which will form my carbon cation. Uh, this is my, uh, my carbon anion. Now I formed my uh, anion. This anion can attack one of uh, the carbons of a double bond and this double bond would break and a uh, bond would form between my carbon anion and my carbon. Uh, of, uh, one of the carbons of the double bond and a continuing of a growing polymer which will have this uh, anion uh, side. Uh, now uh, this will continue but uh, in the uh, propagation step. 
but for the termination step there is no formal termination step in the anionic polymerization so you could see that there will be uh, if I used up all my uh, uh, monomers this is when my term, uh, the termination step would happen because the carbon anion would just have to uh, decay over a time and eventually uh, hybrid elimination would happen in presence of any impurities such as water or any uh, slight uh, alcohols um, um, porotic alcohols this is when my uh, polymer uh, termination would happen now if I look at the polystyrene this uh, the uh, formation of the polystyrene is through the anionic polymerization so if in here we used the, the sodium amide and you could see that the sodium amide would just provide me with the NH2 uh, minus this uh, uh, anion would uh, attack my double bond and the double bond would break and uh, the amide would form a bond between one of the carbons uh, of the double bonds and here I formed my uh, carbon anion now my carbon anion will start attacking another uh, polystyrene uh, uh, another styrene monomer and this will continue on the growing chain uh, step until the presence of something like ammonia uh, in the solution or traces of my ammonia now the polystyrene usually polymerization uh, is uh, uh, considered to be an ionic polymerization what happens is actually when I use the sodium amide and it, in that case we will use sodium amide to form sodium uh, ion and um, amide ion the amide ion would attack a double bond of my uh, styrene and the double bond would, uh, would break now uh, one of the side chain would just uh, one of the uh, double bond uh, carbons would uh, um, bond to the amide and the other one uh, would just form my uh, carbon anion this carbon anion would further attack uh, uh, um, any carbons of the double bonds breaking the bond and forming a continuing uh, a continuous chain of my uh, polystyrene now this continuous chain if i have any traces of any protons in my solutions such as water or alcohols would provide my amide with a proton this proton can be given to one of uh, my, uh, the chain uh, the last uh, carbon anion uh, uh, chain and this will just to terminate uh, act as a termination step to my polystyrene formation now what if I use the metallic initiator instead of uh, the uh, sodium amide initiator in that case I have double bond and now what will happen is the, uh, a breaking of the uh, double bond and the sodium would bind to one of the uh, uh, styrene double bond this will continue to form the carbon anion and the sodium this happens in the uh, uh, in a water solution and the, now you have the sodium as ions positive ions which are the cations and here I have the anions which are the polystyrene anions those polystyrene anions each two of them will start to just to, for, to continue uh, um, uh, bonding together until I form a longer chain but you have to remember one thing this is still a living polymer so if I add more polystyrene the reaction will just continue back again so it is not an actual termination step but like a pause for the, uh, the polymerization by that we came to the end of the third part next video we'll talk about the condensation polymerization until next video thank you and goodbye